What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And then if you want the gory details, stick around to hear more. Today, we're going to answer a user question. Deshaun asks, can I have columns that only show in the files instead of the document set? So stick around to see how we analyze this question. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. So in 60 seconds, we're going to break this question down, analyze that business requirement, and explain how we would solve that with SharePoint. Here we go, let's get the timer. All right, so it sounds like uh, the end user wants to make sure that when they create a new document set, that they're not prompted to enter any other metadata besides the uh, the name and the description, which is default. They only want to see metadata that's associated with the file so that when you open a document set and go visit a file or see the list of files, you'll see accompanying metadata. So the way we would do that in SharePoint is first and foremost, you got to make sure you have a document set content type added to the library. Then you're going to go into the document set settings or the content um, type settings for that document set content type and you're going to adjust the settings and hide whatever columns you do not want to appear for the document set but you do want to appear for the files Whew. i don't know if we did that in 60 seconds or not we gave it a good a good point so let's stick around and we'll jump right to how you handle that with a step-by-step -step and actually show you the visuals. Before we do that, please consider subscribing if you think this could be a benefit to you in the future or it's a benefit now, or you know someone else who may find benefit, please share. All right, thank you for your support. Here we go. So we've got our document library here, and I went ahead and I added a column in the document library called library column one. So if I go to library settings, you'll see that this library has a column, library column one. If we go back to the document library, we see there is a document set here. And if I select the document set, you'll see that there is some metadata that I'm able to enter, but we've got the name of the document set and description, but you don't see library column one. It's because I have it hidden. So how do I do that? Well, first we gotta go in here into the library settings. And we're going to, now, in order for you to uh, be able to add a document set, you're gonna have to have content types management, allow management of content types turned on. Uh, if you don't, here's how you turn that on. This is a bonus, go in here, allow management, yes. Don't touch anything else and say, okay. All right, so we got that turned on and that exposes your content types down here. So we can go to, this is the name of the content type for that document set. And then we're going here to the document set settings. Oh no. Right here, we have a list of columns. And so we can select the columns uh, because whatever column you create within the library will appear here as well for the document set. Uh, you can sync them up if you want, you don't have to, uh, and you don't have to show them for the document set. And just as you can see here, I have it hidden. So I just click inside the column, we go to hidden. If I wanted to expose it, I could go optional. If I wanted to make sure it was filled in, I go with required. So we're gonna say, okay. And we go back here and back here. And so if I add, so basically when I'm looking at the document set, I don't see any metadata here. So I think that's what Deshaun was talking about. And when I click on the document set and visit a file, I did tag this file with this particular metadata. So hopefully that answers your question. If not, please let us know in the comments. If this has been a benefit, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we are inching ever close to being a monetized channel. Thank you. Stay positive. Do the best you can with what you got. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care.